<laughs> I didn't have it. Oh, wait. All right, all right, all right. Rock track, rock track. Okay. All right. Uh, here, you introduce it. No, you introduce no, this no, is, All right, this is table talk, or not so round table. There we go. Woo! That was bad. Um, let's just restart that. Welcome back to another episode of the Not So Round Table. We're joined today by a special guest, Chris from Warfighter Airsoft. Or no, the Warfighter Project. Warfighter Airsoft. The Warfighter, yeah, Warfighter Airsoft. The Warfighter Project. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so, uh, real quick before we start, I know we've kind of talked about your, your Airsoft project before, but Warfighter is a really, really cool nonprofit organization that, uh, helps reconnect veterans, um, and, uh, and help veterans um, with PTSD and things like that by introducing them to Airsoft and the Airsoft community. Yes. Okay. Yep. So if you want to find out more about their project, we're going to put the link to your page and your information in the comment section, or in the information box down below. Description? That's what I'm saying. The description. <laughs> description? Since you're our guest, would you like to pull the first question? Sure. Uh, yeah, don't go from the bottom. The crappy <laughs> questions are on the bottom, I think. <laughs> LL Airsoft guy. At my local field, there are groups of people at least 60 years old who go very serious and yell at little kids trying to enjoy the game. What do you think the age is to stop playing and is it necessary to yell at kids trying to enjoy the game? So, we're, so it's the basically question like a bunch is of dealing with guys. people who go ham? <laughs> 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 These guys are like, like you know, the old old type guy, like get off my lawn type anger into, yeah. into airsoft. Is Move that up! <laughs> Move up! You guys are pushing forward in the room. That sounds like, like me. <laughs> <laughs> I yell at people a lot. You no. be that old guy with the with the cane, like <laughs> just go see, to Hollywood Sports. See, you, you know, you know Leonard, right? So Leonard's gonna probably gonna be playing airsoft till he's like sixty. Yeah, and he's probably still gonna be yelling at kids just the same way when he's sixty. Uh, is there? I don't think you could force people to stop playing at a certain age, though. No. I think that there is a time and a place to take airsoft seriously. You know, Never. if you're doing like a re well, okay. If you're doing like a reenactment, like Irene, okay, yeah, uh, or if you're doing you know a big game like uh, like an op where there's a command structure, it's best to follow orders and kind of you know be yeah. in that serious mm -hmm. mentality. Respect. But I think by and large, people take airsoft way too seriously. Yes. The whole point is to have fun, and if that means wearing a gorilla costume onto the field, then do it. If you want to put your Thompson in a guitar case and figure out how to make the trigger mechanism work. <laughs> Do it. Have fun with it. Like, okay, just, you know, like, the one of my favorite things I ever saw was we went to New Horizon, and the regulators came in with these balloons. No, it's on their, was it on your heads or on your vests? No, we put on probies. Yeah, they put it on their, on their probies, which are their, their trainees. Yeah, uh, trainees. Uh, and these guys had to run around with these bright balloons, <laughs> and you could see them running around the yeah. field. Yeah, and if and they was, got killed, yeah. then they were in, then they were in a deep deep trouble but it was the most hilarious thing ever and it really lightened the mood and you had so much more fun at that game than i think than i did with people just yelling at each other because they were mm -hmm. like why does that guy have a balloon on his head so wait it, what happened if the balloon okay got so popped? if the balloon got popped then he'd be in trouble because the idea was he had to keep the balloon alive <laughs> and then uh <clears throat> hazing happened <laughs> sounds like a fantastic time yeah, yeah our group is like a fraternity we, we were really bad but how about you <laughs> what do you think about the uh, uh you know I I completely agree with like if you're at the Milsom game if you're at the big games or that's the attitude you gotta you're actually pushing towards objectives. Yeah. If it's just a regular pickup game, you know, regular Saturday, uh, if you want to try to instill a little bit of aggressiveness to the kids, I can I can go for it. But if it's to the point where you're yelling at a, a little kid and he's not enjoying it either, yeah. then you need to take a step back, <clears throat> realize exactly. it's only it's 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 only a game. It's only a game. Yeah, there's a reason why there's there's an orange tip. You know, it's, go it's less not, ham. It's not <laughs> not as less ham. ham. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what does that stand for? Hard as a mother. Anyway, <laughs> uh, George, <laughs> I can't. Uh, oh man, uh, I just want to see that. Like, hey, get off my lawn. <laughs> All right, sorry. This is Truman. we need to make a go ham patch. Anyway. <laughs> go ham. <laughs> All right, I'll get I'll get on that. Uh, Truman Veith. Yeah. Hey, Evic. What pistols do you run, and what model do you like? Ooh, I like this question. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, TM five uh, five point one high cap, mm -hmm. and a four point three high cap. Mm -hmm. High cap is that's the way to go. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Here's my justification. Rarely do I switch to a sidearm on the field, <clears throat> but if I do switch to a sidearm, I don't want to be reloading the sidearm. So having a double stack magazine yeah. is quite the advantage. Disadvantage is there are not a whole lot of hard shell holsters for high cap. Uh, until recently, until there, recently there, are there are more made, made now. now. But for for a long time, it was really difficult to find a Kydex 
holster or a hard shell mm-hmm. holster for a, a for a 5.1 or even a 4.3 with the exception of the blade tech cuz you know they made the STI frame yeah um <clears throat> Yeah, that's why I use it. Uh, good gas efficiency, reasonably accurate, uh, kicks like a mule, He's and tons of upgrade a lot parts right now. <laughs> yup. And I think probably I I've never seen him use a pistol, but I'm pretty sure it's a 1911. Uh, it is a 19. It's the Elite Force 1911 tag. There we go. Uh, simply, my preferred pistol is actually a 226. Hmm. Um, Which are great guns. Yeah, but I am just terrible with gas. Oh, I. I, I have the worst luck. Yeah, I don't so, know you, what it so you is. want CO2 then. So I want the reliability I get out of the uh, CO2. That's so, the same pistol the jet runs, right? Yeah. 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 So if pistol. Elite Force made a, a PT26 CO2, sold. Okay, well, maybe they will. Elite Force, get on it. You know the drill. Please. KSC G17. Why? Because it mimics my real G22. Okay, so, okay, perfect for, example. For Talk about that. Like, yep. the, the code, so, Stimble, so for George, way, there's side, a crossover possible. from his real firearm mm-hmm. to, to his airsoft yeah. sidearm, and that's advantageous because you're used to all the controls, yeah. how it handles. Filed the grip the same way, everything. Try to keep the feel as, as close as possible. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's cool. So three different viewpoints. Except it doesn't work all the time, but, you know, it's because it's old. <laughs> <laughs> it's KSC, well. okay? Sometimes the magazines will just be like, I'll get mad at them and I'll just throw them. <laughs> what is this name? <laughs> All right, this question was submitted by Scissor Love. Scissor Love? Yes, sir. Scissor I got love. a topic for this series. As well, ma- are miners do. allowed to play at actual Milsim events like Operation Irene and such? A lot of my friends have been disappointed because they believe only players 18 and up are allowed uh, at most of these exciting big events. Is that true? Mm, yes and no. The usually a requirement is you have to be vouched for by an LC alumni. So meaning like if your dad, I mean. if for example you went to your dad, you could maybe be 16, but you have to be at least a minimum of 16. I'm pretty sure for most of those three day games. Or well, two. that and I- Irene's invitation only. Irene is not invitation. Oh, it's only. not. No, it's just the signups go really fast. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I was so, confused. Um, but. Why is everything about Irene is what I think is funny is because I, 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 every Cause question is about Irene, the Irene, 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 Irene. There are other most Milsim publicized. Events. There, there are some events out there that are, that are hardcore Milsim games that are maybe a little bit lower of an age gap. I'm not really familiar with these specifics, but I'm sure they're out there. I mean, but yeah, the, the answer is no, there's no, you don't have to be 18 and up as long as you're vouched for, well, for the Lion Claw events anyways, as long as you're vouched I for by I think an so, as long as you, it has to be <clears> vouched <throat> for by an LC alumni, which is pretty hard, you know, that that is almost like invite if you think about it. But you can do it. I'm sure. I'm sure if you if you pull the right strings, you could do it. What if they're shoe strings? And you better tie your shoes. What if they're untamed bad? airsoft? What is your opinion on attachments? What's necessary for the situation? For what situation? How about you start with this one? Uh, attachments. So I go with some kind of grip, some kind of foregrip, just because I don't. I'm not a huge fan of holding the magwell for an M4 style. Yeah. Uh, flashlights, depending on. It's if, it's nice to always have it. Yeah, actually, then, I, I realized that having a flashlight on at all times is just it's just get, so you, much easier. You get used to the weight, and then when you're if you need it, you can it's there. Like even mm-hmm. if you're at SC Village, there's some dark core dark rooms and stuff where you can yeah. use a flashlight. Um, so. Lasers, I I like to have that. For me, it's always like I, I'll, I think I'll have it just there. because it's if cool. That if that point in time comes up. I want to be able to have it, and it's it's not too much weight for me to. It's no big deal that I have this little bit extra Interesting. weight. I understand. Yeah. Uh, optics uh, to me aren't truly necessary, but it's always fun to have. Yeah, I think optics are probably the the lo- optics are probably the least practical attachment. But like the number number one, everybody, <laughs> but it's the number one yeah. thing that everybody has. Unless you got a long range. I mean, if we're talking about snipers yeah. and DMRs, then obviously yeah. some sort of uh, magnified yeah. optic is. Mm-hmm. Is, is, but how many times know. do you see in a field, a local field especially, where you'll have somebody, a bunch of people come up with all broken optics? So it's like, True. why do you have the optics yeah. on there? If it's I think broken. people. Oh, it's for looks. No. I exactly. think a lot of people like don't take. Care, I don't want to say take care of. They don't use the optic properly. Like they never zero it. Yeah, if you so, zero it yeah. and then you're indoors, you have a huge <laughs> yeah a lot of good advantage. it does if it's not zero. Then you just shoot. Yeah. Uh, you're using the barrel. But if anyway. you if you pop into a room and if you have your sight pretty well zeroed. You will, if you're good at it... Reaction you, time is much, you, much you faster. You are much better than yeah. just randomly shooting. And that's when you get those situations where people are like, I didn't hit you. Also, let's not overlook, as attachments go, sling attachment points. Not oh. all guns come with them. And if you can attach a sling attachment point to the to your AEG or gas blue bag rifle, it makes a world of difference. And, let's yeah. make, and also, like, so tired technically, of a, a technically a rail interface system is an attachment. And that's obviously something mm-hmm. that everybody has to have to do any of these things. That's yeah. true. 
That's true. Carry handles are nice. Fun too. fact. Yes. Well, well man, no. kind of carry handle. I could do without. I suppose. Only the last time you saw somebody have a carry handle on their M4. Mm-hmm. Uh, or even M733. Okay. Attached permanently. Napa Please. Airsoft. Looks like you guys have fun doing a show. We Keep do. it up. Rate a fire limit at events for or against it. For it. For against it. it. Come on. I am. <clears throat> like, really... I'm just, I'm. Do you really need something above a 30 FPS or no, 30 ROS? No, but that's, it's the same thing when people want to make a hot rod at home, right? Like, yeah. They're like, oh, well, you know, wait, that's a terrible example. Because there's the speed limit. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was, I was gonna wait. Uh, okay. I was gonna wait for you to continue, but no. Okay, let me just. No. Okay, here it is. This, this is what it is. Uh, the people who can build fast guns, good for you. But it's the people who can't build get fast guns or can't afford to or don't want to. They want to limit and tie the hands of the people who can't. And I think it's unfair. It's ridiculous for people to get upset with Polar Star users because you're upset at it's the... It's not, at a the, polar, at the, it's not just no, no, a Polar Star issue, though. I know, but what I'm saying is well, I'm going on like a speed, just yeah. for speed, right? Because a lot of times the complaint with Polar Star is that mm-hmm. the, the speed is really fast. Um, uh, you know, the... People are getting upset with with people with high rate of fire because of the minority of people that abuse that. The people mm-hmm. that hold on to the trigger too long, the people that are you know engaging too close, uh, and unfortunately the, that that rule and that stigma affects the majority of people. Uh, I really think it's unfair because I like high speed guns. I feel like I should be able to run them, and the fact that I can't or that I get limited to semi only, uh, you know, or b- burst fire, which uh, that's acceptable. But if I if I'm limited to semi only after I've all, spent all this time and effort into making something that I find useful and creative and interesting, th- to be told that I can't use it is kind of sad. See, it was mainly referring to the of uh, Milsim events, though. Really? No, 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 it's, no. Uh, for limit at events. Yeah. See, at a, yeah. To me, I, like I, I understand where you're coming from, but it's it's because of the few people that abused it. it I want to take it away because I've had moments where I've been shot, okay, hit, and then for like an extra five seconds, I'm being pelted and pelted. And it's not just them just wanting to overshoot me because for some odd reason. Sure. But it's, it's just that trigger pull that. Yeah, and it it's kind of like I I'm okay with being shot. I'm okay with being shot up close, but at the same time, you don't need. A hundred well, BBs to do it. You, you think you know? about it this way. Events want to try to create a level playing field as much as they can. And they're not saying you can't have a 30, F- anything above 30. But 30's that, not that fast. 30 is incredibly fast. It's not that fast. Think about it. 30. You are, 30 if, you are, if you're using second. 30 BBs in one second, you are going through one of but your mid-cap much, magazines in four seconds. I'd much rather have 50 rounds a second. So on one trigger so pull. So overkill. Yeah, yeah, you want overkill. Because it decreases the amount I have to aim. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! And then it's got like a it's like a shotgun, right? Note uh, that the person who does use a higher out of fire gun doesn't usually have it working all the time. This is true. Mine breaks a lot. Yeah. All right, fine. Okay. Next question. It was a good it was a good debate question. Yeah. I didn't so know even we got two either. fours. I, I just done two the same four regulation, two against. Airsoft speed trigger. Yay or nay? Like uh, the modified trigger, so it's like a slower pull, or like a MOSFET trigger? I'm, uh, uh, cause I, I think, MOSFET I think this is maybe a specific product, the speed trigger. I'm not familiar with that. I do like the idea. Of if, I can, if I could run a trigger on an AEG like I could on like my AR... Oh, like lighten you, trigger pull. You need a, you yeah. need a, mo- you need a mosfet, dude. Yeah, I, I really I'm not like, very good with once you tr- once, I know, but once you try a mosfet, once, you know, like I'll I'll show you mine, and then it, it you're like, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna bring up Ryan's custom again, just one last time here. I know I've brought it up in like two videos now. Does he but even have it with his him today? trigger pull? Yeah, no, it's the same mosfet as mine. Kind oh, it is. Yeah, okay, dude, the the instant response on that trigger pull is amazing. Yeah, you're and like, that whip. really makes the difference <clears throat> if you're not waiting for everything to cycle and wind up together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. And you can use semi-auto actually, like similar to like a gas blow and not or inflate auto. your okay. battery because mine mine locks up a lot on me, and I'm kind of. Yeah, you can't. I, I, yeah, I've just done full just, auto and yeah. just the short burst because of it. You you can't shoot. Yeah, you definitely can't shoot the same on a real AR. It's but. kind of sad. I'm going to ask that on camera because I was curious. Foregoing one question, IFAC. I've heard that term. I don't know what it stands for. I could probably look it up online, but since you're here and you were in the military, you could tell me. Uh oh. Individual. I had one fallout. Oh, what? Well. How, how would, okay, a, hey, how hey, would hey. an IFAC <clears throat> differ from an EMT pouch? Or are they the same thing? It has less stuff. And actually, the person you should ask is, is Jet because he was a corpsman. Yeah, but, but he's uh, not here, and I didn't <laughs> want to ask him anyway. But uh, it's 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 meant for the IFAC, it's, it's like. Almost everything you would need immediately, just to sustain you until an actual corpsman or a medic can get to you. 
Good to know. Yeah, usually I'll include like some type of painkiller, heavy duty painkiller, a tourniquet, a tourniquet, some uh, uh, gauze. Uh, there was some. Um, I forgot what the pills were, but there were some, like painkiller pills. Uh, High concentrated morphine, maybe. No, no, not, per, not the, on person. Anything morphine was like there was like a lollipop, and morphine shots only can be held by Corman. Sure, uh, that's, that's interesting. That's probably a good idea. So for the airsoft field, a bunch of guys <laughs> dumping up on morphine. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shot. No, you're just grace. No, no, no. Give me the lollipop. <laughs> Give me the good stuff. Okay, uh, so for the for airsofters then, or for like the airsoft field, do you guys think it'd be it, it's reasonable to carry at least some sort of IFAC? Maybe not to the extreme that the real. Oh yeah, is, yeah. I keep in mine. In mine, I'll keep yeah. like uh, you keep your other things like sunscreen, chapstick, all that kind of stuff. But a good thing to always carry would be a stink bite kit, and uh, usually that's about it. Neosporin, maybe some band aids for yeah. when you get a thorn. Yeah, I'm just like <laughs> not even not even for instances with like a BB hit you, but. Have you guys seen the video of a dude falling off a two-story building? Yeah, that yes. guy. Yeah, that yes. was that was intense. Like he probably broke a bone he, or two. He, There's a guy he, who did he, it at Lion Claw. No, no, he jumped this, out no, of a second story no, no, no. Window. This guy, what? no, this yes, this kid. Like he was just like, oh, I'm totally gonna make this wall. Jumps out a window. Oh, misses that was a wall. long time ago. But no, two no, this years ago. this guy. This vi- this guy. It's a video. It's crazy. I'll post it in the link or something like that. This guy's on a roof of a building, like shooting, and he kind of like forgets where his footing is. Oh, God. Backs up, falls, goes. Goes down like yeah. right off the right off the two story uh, of a roof yeah. like it's pretty high up and he but just that's goes not boom. something that you'll have a first aid kit for. Well, because, well we don't know need, if yeah. on the way down he might have cut himself on some glass sure. because we yeah. play in a lot of construction yeah who knows but AOs, I mean he he, you know? he probably needs to uh, some hardcore medical attention after that fall. yeah so gotcha. it's always <laughs> not, it's to me it's one of those things it's like it's better to have it not need it than need it and not have it so yeah. Well, thank all right. You. Well, Sorry I pulled a question about two opinion. minutes ago. Sorry. So Sorry. We'll, 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 I was curious. Yeah, I we were talking about IFX. Uh, so, Mr. DD Australia 98, DDM Australia 98. Hey, Matt and George, what is your favorite season to play airsoft and why? California season? <laughs> California season. <laughs> California is just one season throughout the year, and I hate it. Sometimes it's a little moist, and then the rest of the year it's good. I'd say my favorite it, it probably drizzles be, a little bit in February. I like fall. Fall will probably be my favorite because it's not too hot, but it's not cold. But then again, California never really gets cold by my standards, so it's true. Uh, I don't get. Cold. I like spring. He likes California. What uh, California season? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, California season? Uh, yeah, California. It doesn't matter. To yeah, me. It, I mean, I've year round been here, there, you can play that, airsoft. So. It's just, it's just, a, it's basically, it's the same weather throughout the year here. It's just a question of how hot it is outside. I think I'd rather it be cold while I was playing airsoft because yes. you heat yourself <clears throat> up. If it yeah. already starts at about 110 degrees, that's kind yes. of sucks. Yeah, like at, uh, in July in San Diego is not fun. I yeah. was sweating before I even put my gear on. Uh, and yeah. then, I mean, you know how that's and possible, then of course you're dealing with was. fogging issues of the mm. goggles yeah, well, on either extreme. Whether, you know, it's when it's really cold, the heat from your body's going to fog your goggles. And when it's really hot outside, it's going to fog your goggles. Yeah, condensation will fog. Yeah. All but right. I think, hands down, weather won't won't affect when I go out and play. One more question. Unless there's a tornado. It has to have sharks. Sharknado. <laughs> Tor- Sharknado. Sharknado. Uh, Ted Goosen. Ted, Ted Goosen 15? It's okay. I've already butchered, yeah. butchered so many names today. All right. Uh, how do you guys feel about booby traps for grenades? We talked like Thunder Bee tape to the door frame. Oh, didn't we talk about that? Yeah, we talked about this a while uh, ago. The last video. Or no, second to last video. I don't know. It was a while back, yeah. but we talked uh, about this. Uh, they're kind of cool. We talked oh, about the uh, using a lighter to burn the filament when you see it. Yeah. Mother than that, they make take some time to set so up. Small. More importantly, if you can find on the field like an empty soda can and you put some little rocks in it and then tie that in a string next to a door so when they open it, it falls. Do you guys watch uh, Super Special Ops Mission with Will Willis? When he yeah, did that, was, that, that was old. That show was like... like it was a cool show. Will six Willis, years old. still a fan. Yeah. Why don't Not, you come play Airsoft, dude? I'm sorry. I didn't. I he, totally he didn't catch the second half of what you were saying because okay. I was focusing on the question. Sorry. Let's go with the question. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, Cameron, did you interrupt him? No, and I just interrupted you. <laughs> I'm just sorry. You're so rude. Ah, <laughs> uh. all right, Cameron Clark. Uh, what age did you start playing airsoft? How old was I when I moved out here? Uh, uh, Twenty-two, probably. When did I get back from my first deployment? I was, I was twenty. Uh, yeah, I got back from my first deployment from Afghanistan. Uh, one of my sergeants was like, "You should try this out." Tried it out, and. That was that was in two thousand. I got back in two thousand ten, but I didn't start till two thousand eleven. Yeah, so pretty, pretty recent. Wow, I started when I was like sixteen. 
What year did you you started in? I was like a sophomore in high school. Yeah, no, but you so you were. It was like two thousand four. Two thousand four. I started in two thousand eight. Yeah, and at the time, my mom did not like guns. She still doesn't. <clears throat> and so I didn't tell her that I was playing airsoft. <laughs> I kept my airsoft gun at a friend's house. Who's and note that it didn't require a parental permission to a get set airsoft. Yes, gun it did. Or... Yes, it did. Okay. All yes, right. it did. My friend's mom signed. Okay. For all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, but then sir. the fields, the fields that he played at, obviously didn't require a parental guardian. Well, I didn't play the first two years I was playing in high school. I didn't. We played in my friend's backyard. Yeah. I didn't even go to a field. So you yeah. did what you're not supposed to do. Well, no, no because okay. in the city we were playing, it was oh, still legal oh, to play. Okay. And because, right. Also because his wall, his walls around his house were like six feet tall. Uh, I see. Um, I see. So we weren't bothering anybody. Uh, but you went you at were, it responsibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're sort right. of. I they're, mean, they're I was still protection. playing underage without my parents' <laughs> permission. So, uh, but yeah, that's when I started. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, this was a good show. I mm-hmm. like this one. This was fun. Yeah. Chris, thanks for coming by. Oh, thank you for um, having me. Check out great. his. Do you have a YouTube channel, or you just have? Yes, your, we uh, have. We have our Facebook and our YouTube. More fire Both of those soft. will be in the in the description below. Check them out. Cool organization. Mm-hmm. We respect a lot what they do. Yeah. Yep. Thank Don't you. play yourself underage without parental 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 consent. <laughs>